Let's pull together. Let's work together. Let's go out and vote a Democratic ticket. Let's lead it with our friend, your friend, the state's friend, Governor Deval Patrick. Beautiful sight, a beautiful sight. I want to thank. I want to start by thanking the mayor of Boston, a fabulous mayor, one of the one of the one or two best in the country, and one of my best friends and yours too, Tom Menino. Thank you, Tom. We have we have a fabulous, fabulous lineup of elected officials, of candidates, of Democrats, of people who believe, like you, that government has a role to play in helping people. That it's about people, not abstract policy. It's about neighbors, not numbers. That is what we're fighting for. You know, I knew, I knew four years ago that we would face headwinds. I knew we'd have the headwinds that come with being a newcomer, trying to break in and trying to move the ball forward and change the way business is done on Beacon Hill. What I didn't expect, what I didn't expect was a global economic collapse that would sweep Massachusetts up as it has the whole country. Now let me tell you one thing Tim Murray and I didn't do. We didn't cut and run like a whole bunch of folks who'd had this job before us. We stood right with you, right alongside working families, right alongside our neighbors, right alongside our small businesses, and started making choices just like you in your own homes, in your own businesses, in your own neighborhoods. And we chose to invest in education. We chose to invest in health care. We chose to invest in job creation. And that is why today, your Commonwealth is number one in the nation in student achievement and health care coverage for our residents in job creation. That is not happening by accident. Now, for 15 months, I've been listening to the other candidate talk about how he has had enough. Let me tell you, I've had enough. I've had enough of big dig management. I've had enough of talking the Commonwealth down in order to advance your own political interests. I've had enough of leadership that tries to turn us on each other right when we should be turning to each other, and you know it. And let me ask you, have you had enough of him too? Well, I wasn't going to go that far. <laughs> but the point is, what Charlie Baker misses, and what a lot of candidates miss, is that it's not about us. It's about you. It's about your future. It's about your jobs, your schools, your neighborhoods, your health care. It's about you. The here and now, but a generation to come and how we bear our generational responsibility. That old idea every single one of us was taught by our grandparents that we in our time have to do what we can to leave it better for those who come behind us. I've told some of you about a visit I paid a few weeks ago to a jobs club in Quincy. A jobs club are groups of unemployed folks who meet in our career centers. And they get together to encourage each other and lean on each other and share strategies. And this one jobs club in Quincy invited me out. They've moved their meetings to the local IHOP, the International House of Pancakes, because they've been out of work a year and a half. Twenty people, all of them about my age in their 50s. The youngest, uh, I think the oldest was 61. And one by one they told their stories 
They talked about how they had done everything they were supposed to do. They went to work on time. They did the job that was asked of them. They looked after families. They saved what they could. And then one day, they had a visit from the boss who said, you know, business is bad right now, and so we can't keep you. Now all these folks are the folks you and others have been told are angry. But none of the folks I met that day were angry. They're scared. They're scared. One guy wondered out loud, what happens in a few weeks' time when his extended unemployment benefits run out? They aren't sitting there waiting for government to solve every problem in their lives. What they want to know is that we see them, that we care about them, that what we're trying to do is about helping them help themselves. And you know what? It's not too much to ask.